Uh, I am doing a study. This is the study that I told you about already. Schifo and Marchetti showed that LDN produced significant reduction of symptoms in seven of 12 ASD kids, a significant increase of T, CD4, CD8 helpers, and reduction of T suppressors, and the natural killer cell level was inversely related to the plasma opioid levels. Therapeutic use in ASD, we use in tiny doses, as I said, regulates mood, modulates, all this is repeating. Uh, we increase the natural endorphins toward T1 immunity. So this first study I've already told you about, 74% had enhanced sociability, mood, cognition, and language. 15 to 20% had frequent early infections followed by improvements. And this was self-reported on my list. Anybody can go on that and find it if they want to read up on that. My um, working hypothesis is that if the kids have primarily a genetic influence, that they may have to stay on LDN to stay well, that if the CD4, CD25 regulator cells come in and start operating, that they won't have to after the six to, after the four to six months that it takes for the immune system to get normal with this treatment. These are some of the cytokines. Natural killer cell level, very low in all the kids and the parents too. Uh, MOG is a myelin oligodendrocyte glycoprotein uh, antibody and the neurofilament antibodies. These are brain antibodies and we want those to go down because the kids are showing damage.